Sonia Ben Santa Maria. Artists associate to the Jet Parkers. Jet Parkers is the young artist program of the Royal Opera House. I'm the first female conductor they've had. I knew when I was a child, I think I was about eight or nine, um, I remember just listening to orchestral big piece, like symphonic pieces and stuff, and thinking that I want to be the orchestra. I just wanted to be them. Which is impossible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did express, um, at a young age, I wanted to be a conductor mm -hmm. to uh, my head of music, which, um, and he said, oh, it's a very difficult profession for women. And I kind of forgot about it. Did all my classes, did all the piano. Piano led to piano accompaniment. Piano accompaniment led to being a repetitor in opera. Wow. And until a few years ago, I just realized that I was, and I've always been unhappy as a pianist. It is not my thing, and it never was. Because conducting is. <laughs> at the time maybe in my head of music he was right to say it's hard to be a female conductor yes it is and when I expressed myself which was 20 years ago it was definitely it would have definitely be a, a big challenge mm. because of all the preconceptions it's like you know the whole myth of being right handed conductor I am left handed and I conduct with my left hand <laughs> And most of our past generation of conductors, who were born left-handed, have trained right-handed to be a conductor. And you know what? No one orchestra, no one player have noticed I was left-handed. Or if they have, they don't care. The very good surprise I've had is you can feel that the musicians you've got in front of you are completely open-minded to it. They're embracing it. It's just one of them. It's either the audience preconception or the management. Um, I remember being complimented on my conducting and part of all the compliments I had was you conducted oh, like a man, it was great. And, and I could see that that person didn't register what they just had, what you just said. And I think, unfortunately, what well, that came out, obviously, but what it meant that I was probably assertive and confident and secure, and that suddenly translated as being masculine. I like to think that you can be who you want to be. And although for some I'm a female, for some I'm a lesbian, for some I'm a... I'm a refugee, anarchist, communist, wherever you are. I do not want to be defined by it. What I want to be is a conductor. I'm a musician. And it's got to stop there. something else because mm. we're all different and just that's wonderful mm. but don't go the extreme that finally I've got power and I'm gonna be worse you know balance I think the best way to be good at something is just to be yourself part of the showcase because I'm a link and, I, and not a full-time um, young artist. I said, look, you know, I'm your first female. Uh, I need to be showcased, you know, for my own uh, 
future career and exposure can I be part of the showcase and so they had discussions and they went back to me and said okay you can be part of the showcase great and the piece they offered me doesn't actually require a conductor the fanfare is the opening number of the opera and it only requires eight players so it's a bit of a, a low what's the duration of the piece 41 seconds the other conductors will have considerably longer extract uh, involving orchestra. How long? Eight to ten minutes. I've got the most insignificant piece to do, which is a real shame. Now that we're all embracing women, women empowerment, women conductors, I either go with it and I say thank you for the 40 with. 41 seconds you've given me or I just be realistic and see that 40 seconds won't make any difference to my career and it's actually embarrassing so I think I'm going to prove myself to them, to the Opera House show them that I'm definitely as good as the boys if hopefully better I've never believed that by being politically correct or compliant, you reach your goals. I think ultimately you need to be true to yourself, follow your inspirations, work hard and either with people or without, you have to believe you'll make it.